a senior discount. I got this campsite for about 20 some odd dollars a night. There's my campsite. I'm on a dune. And there is the ocean. This beach is accessible day and night. It's, uh, it's just miles of beach. And you can just come out here at night. Last night there was a moon out. We're hanging around out here. Full moon with the waves. And it is uh, just fantastic. And uh, it's basically cost nothing. <laughs> I mean, we're just having a great time. So uh, let's look at the vestibule and see the accommodations. Boy, this place is beautiful. Had a visit from the ponies this morning. Two of them came through. They just walk right into my camp, right up to my kitchen. Uh, they're actually pretty nice. Uh, don't get behind a horse. Uh, you might get kicked, and that's not fun. But you just tell them, hey, get out of here. Shoo. And they, they leave. They, they speak English very well. They know, the, uh, they know the campers. They know your behavior better than you do. Other campsites you might get a squirrel running around. Here you get horses. Good morning. Good morning. Oh wow. Here's mommy and baby. Little visitor to your oh, campsite. You Not sure if this guy is getting out of the sun or if he's uh, hoping for some food. It looks like he's maybe licking the table. A little hard to tell. Well, I can't help you there. Oh, it feels good, huh?
you're in a no parking zone. You gotta love this uh, Assateague State Campground bathroom. It's really one of the best bathrooms I've been in uh, as far as campgrounds go. It's all tile, the walls are tile, uh, good ventilation. There are these great skylights for the daytime, uh, good shower facilities, it's just wonderful. There are thousands and thousands of tree swallows passing through. I don't know if this is going to be able to record them, but they are flying through. And monarch butterflies coming through. Amazing. Before, I'm telling you, several thousand of them came through. I'm, yeah, I'm gathering they are coming across the, uh, the bay, Delaware Bay, from, uh, from Cape May. Uh, the current sink, you know, kitchen setup is we have uh, a, st a sink, right? It only has eight gallons of water, uh, nine gallons. And th this flow rate is a gallon a minute on this faucet. And since we're here, you got to be pretty thrifty with water. Um, here they have a washing setup uh, outside the bathroom, a washing station. So what we use, what I use to clean is uh, around a trailer is a silicone sponge absorbs nothing. Uh, it's very soft, so you can't really scrub too much. It's good for wiping off dishes and things. An absorbent sponge for the kitchen just to wipe that down and keep it clean. 3M pot scrubber, which uh, works great to scrub things. A uh, bottle of Dawn soap. Uh, two of these collapsible wash tubs. They collapse, and uh, we lug the, lug the stuff over to the sink, wash it there, you know, and, uh, and lug it back with these uh, wash tubs. So uh, that's the uh, hygiene kitchen dishwashing setup. Funny how the most insignificant piece of equipment suddenly takes on a great role of importance like a whisk broom. <laughs> so, uh... Camping out here on the beach, loads of sand, you really need a little whisk broom uh, to sweep out the trailer and uh, keep that sand out. I actually have a second one, which uh, is a dustpan, you know, more of a dustpan. They both work about equally well. Uh, Frank, you can see all this sand I tracked in here, and I'm gonna clean that up. This is some of the sand I got out of here. One of the main things is uh, cleaning the door sill with the broom. Otherwise, when you close the door, you hear some crunchy grinding of sand. No way around just got to sweep it out. It's, uh, it's helping quite a bit the broom. So getting in and out, the sand is getting around and this is a great way to clean it up. 
the wind has been coming out of the south uh, pretty heavily, uh, 10 to 20 miles an hour for the last couple of days. So I finally uh, wised up and moved the trailer sideways. I just grabbed it by hand and turned it sideways to get the uh, galley out of the wind. I've been using a windscreen and all those other measures to try and fight the wind, but now I am aerodynamic. The wind is hitting the trailer in the schnozzle and uh, there's happiness in the camp and there's going to be dinner cooking in a few minutes. The whole day was spent walking down the beach, riding bicycles along the beach, inspecting all the other campsites, looking at the dazzling array of hardware people have from uh, a one-person cut tent all the way up to like multi-million dollar uh, RVs. Uh, and because of the wind, it's uh, reducing the efficiency of the stove. So I put up the burnt wings, which uh, snap right on, take about a minute to put on, not even. It's just a bunch of snaps that hold it up in here. And uh, you just uh, snap that on, hook the bottom, and it was somewhat protected from the wind. Nothing's foolproof, right? The wind could change angles or something, but it seems to be helping. I also use a windscreen in the stove, uh, which helps quite a bit. I'll try, I'll show that. Windscreen, this is the windscreen. It just uh, folds up very compact and you just deploy it. And now this is uh, sheltered from the wind. Today, oatmeal with bananas, walnuts, maple syrup, and cinnamon and uh, green tea and I put this on here this windscreen because I am anxious for my caffeine fix this morning and uh, this uh, pot it's high and narrow so it uh, takes a while to heat up and uh, the windscreen is going to help there I'm going to close off this section in a second so here's the uh, the windscreen I'm sliding it back into its little package uh, there it is very compact good little windscreen there's a million of them out there you know you know how products are, they're made for one run and then they're not made anymore, but there's a million products just like it out there available. Garbage. Uh, I pretty much use, these are Food Lion bags, uh, Food Lion's of the store. They gave me a bunch. When you, um, rather than a large, you know, hefty bag, uh, big garbage bag, accumulating that and making uh, one big trip, it's a lot easier when you're on the road to use small bags and get rid of them. You can put those in almost any garbage can. Nobody will say boo. Um, but if you have a big, you know, huge 50-gallon garbage bag, people are not going to be too happy if you dump that into a, uh, a trash can. Um, so I'll make small bags and frequent trips rather than uh, one huge bag frequent trips. Now these bags, you can get them for free. Uh, when you go shopping, you just ask the clerk if you can have some bags and they'll give you a bunch of them. I don't know how many is here. There's 25 or 50. And uh, you can accumulate these pretty easily. And uh, well, Food Lion, they're only down here. This is one of my uh, vacation uh, <laughs> keepsakes. As I go forward, I'll remember this trip out to uh, Assateague Island uh, with these garbage bags. It sure is a cheap uh, souvenir. But uh, Okay, changing plans. We forgot the oatmeal, so it's uh, French toast this morning. And we're going to have raisins, walnuts, and banana topping with maple syrup and cinnamon. How could you beat that? And so I'm using a little outboard table here, which uh, can move it anywhere. I have two of them. Good idea if you like them. Another one over there. It's a coffee table. Here it is, the finished product. French toast with bananas, raisins, and walnuts. With maple syrup and cinnamon, yum. I wonder if the other side says encouraged. Berlin, Maryland. What a town. Yeah. 
so your your name is what's your name? Summer. Summer. You're yes. gonna explain what these oysters okay, are. Cool. Okay, great. Yep. So these are the Shikating. They're out of Virginia. Okay. Um, they're gonna be these two. Yes, these two right here. Okay. Um, Hog Island. Hog also Island. out of Virginia. Those two. Okay. Honga Tong. Okay. Blue Point. Okay, great. Thank you. Got you. it. Cool. Okay, great. Thanks. For me, the Chincoteagues win, and the Blue Point was a close second. Seafood bake. <laughs> Crab cakes, green beans, tartar sauce, cocktail sauce, and saffron rice. Crab meat omelet. Crab Alley restaurant, and this is crab bruschetta. Strawberry, uh, sorry, vanilla French toast with raspberry syrup. Cutting the trip short, had five days of absolutely gorgeous weather on the beach, loving it. Uh, and three days of 30 mile an hour winds, continuous with uh, <laughs> pelting rain, it was unbelievable. And uh, it's gonna be more of the same. So I decided to cut the trip short a couple of days early. But uh, what, a, what a great place. Uh, despite the weather change, no, uh, I'd come back again for sure. And many people I met there said they come here year after year down to Astigue Island, and I can see why. When you hit it right, it's just spectacular. It's worth the risk of, uh, of catching bad weather. So uh, I'll be back again.